What's up? It's me, Amy from Vagabond Youth. So today we're gonna do the closet confidential tag because some of you requested me to do it and I'm gonna do it. So let's get into it. I actually just dug this out of the donation pile that's going out this week. So we are just catching it on its way. But it is this sweater which just says Amy is the most magical of them all. And the story behind this is that I got this around 12 years ago when I was maybe 8 years old from my aunt for Christmas. And I was literally so tiny for it because I was an eight-year-old child and she accidentally got an adult medium as opposed to adult uh, as opposed to a children's small and I just decided to keep it because I was gonna say that when I finally get big enough to wear it then I can wear it um, but I eventually did grow into it and it's kind of cool because I literally saw my physical body kind of just like grow bigger and bigger with this shirt because when I first got it um, it was literally a dress and my arms went up to about here and now obviously it fits pretty damn well. I kept it season after season because it was the only unhooded sweatshirt I had in my closet and so it didn't choke me and so it was really awesome to wear around the house because it was made out of fleece and it was really big and it was just like wearing a ginormous Tinkerbell blanket on you um, but now I have so many crew neck sweatshirts that don't have a hood that I don't really need it anymore but it definitely has a lot of sentimental value and it's really raggedy and old and you'd be surprised how much I've worn this only inside the house though never outside actually no I've worn it out in public before this watch and it's just a classic kind of timeless brown leather with a rose gold face watch and it's by a Swedish brand called Daniel Wellington and they were actually started in 2011 so they're relatively new but they make awesome slim wrist watches and this is the Cardiff watch and the company actually sent this to me and the coolest thing about these watches is that they're actually you can interchange the wristband so the company was nice enough to provide me a coupon code for you guys that is right here and it's also gonna be linked down below but they're amazing watches and it's awesome to finally look at my wrist and know what time it is. I got this Mark by Mark Jacobs bag around three years ago when I was 17 for my 17th birthday. And I kid you not, I still wear this thing to death. It's just a classic bag. And when it first came out, I just really wanted a crossbody black leather bag. And this is the Natasha, by the way. And so many people have it now. I think that just kind of speaks for itself that this bag is just so classic and versatile that it goes with everything. These shoes, I picked them up around over a year ago now and at the time I just wanted something that was just a classic stiletto and little did I know that the heeled sandal was going to blow up the next season. They have just held with me for so long. I think these were around $100 and I actually had no problem spending that $100 on these shoes because I knew I would get so much wear out of them and I literally wear them for everything. I can wear these to a press event, shopping, a dinner date, anything. So so I really love these shoes. So it's kind of obvious that any bargain that you get is going to be from the thrift store. So all of my high-waisted shorts have been thrifted. If you see them on my blog or my Instagram, chances are the reason why I don't tag them is because they're from the thrift store. And these are the pair that I've always loved. And I got these around four years ago. And everyone always thinks they're from American Apparel because they're just a really like classic, oh god, that is the word of the video. And I love the cut on them. And they're super, super comfy. They're one of the most com comfortable high-waisted shorts I own. I got these for around, like, maybe a dollar at most. And I'm still wearing them today, so that's awesome. To be honest, it was really hard to find something that would properly suit this question. Because I feel like a lot of things that I wear, people both love and hate. And I always get both sides of the argument. But, I don't know, I just picked out these shoes because they're a little bit funky, I feel like. They're just a chunky platform sneaker heel with white leather on them. And... Actually, I always get a lot of compliments on these a lot from girls and not so much guys because I feel like guys just think this is just like a weird hybrid heel shoe. Actually, that's not true because I've had some guys compliment me on these shoes and how weird they are. But, I don't know, it goes both ways, and I really like them, they're just ridiculously comfy, and um, they're actually a little bit harder to style, but 
I don't know, I like the challenge. In high school, I only wore combat boots. Sometimes I wore heels to school, but I basically lived in my Steve Madden combat boots. And so when I got to college, I thought I would really need a high quality, good leather, actual leather pair of combat boots. And so for my high school graduation gift, I asked for these All Saints Demisi boots. And these are around $300 to $400 retail. I got these at Bloomingdale's and my mom bought them for me. So I'm so sorry for watching this mom, but the thing is, though, when I got to college, my style had kind of evolved out of the combat boot. So, I mean, I still love boots in general, but just the combat boot in general, I just kind of, like, phased out of it. And it was a good four years, not going to lie, but I don't think I could do another four years. So I didn't wear these as much as I planned to, so I'm really sorry about that, Mom, but thank you, and I love them, and I still think they're great shoes, but uh, I don't really wear them as much as I thought I should. I, I don't really wear them as much as I thought I would. If you follow me on Twitter and Instagram, which you can do right here, I have been talking about and tweeting and Instagramming all of these outfits with these babies and I've said that I've jumped on the mom jean train and I can't get off and these are just some Topshop mom jeans and I really like them because despite being from Topshop they seem really authentic and they fit exactly how I saw my mom wear mom jeans or her jeans in the 80s and that's why I really I think gravitate towards them. Sam Edelman pony hair sliders. Went to the Zara sale and I got these pants that I've been coveting all season and they were finally on sale so they're just these kind of super sheer white pants. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you'd like to subscribe or hit that thumbs up button, that'd be really awesome because I make new videos every Monday and Thursday. So I'd love to have you here on my channel. But other than that, be sure to check down below in the description box for all the links and where I talked about everything. So that's it. I will see you guys later. Bye!